sana kuhusu wao. Na mwana kwenye sikuizi ya nakaa. Wana sikuizi kwenye ya nyeleo. Kuna wana sikuizi ya nyeleo wana kaa. Kuna wana wibia. Wana sikuizi. Izo vita mbaya mbaya. Yo vibia katika waifeso kumesona ya kama ya kambia. Jizi tuna, tuna kuelelea na kukua katika kriso. Kuna mako ya nazili kwenye ya kitu wae. Kresi kwa kama wale kitu. Hata inasana hiya pasta maongeo wa mbaya. Sawa hivi kuhanda kuya saa. Siku yako ikifika mtu mungu anatuma mtu kwa nyaba yako Mana wewe pia anatuma kwa diga yule mungini Wana sikio Haleluya Na ukijelewesha ya mungine Hata yako kina jelewesha Haleluya Na hiyo kiyo mbibu ya kuwa kiyo na hiyo wivu Hau takuwa na wivu na mtu Amen kwa sababu wivu ni wa shetani na uwe ni ulifanya shetani hawadoge mikuwa praise video kwa nama mikuwa kwa hivyo nilikuwa na masikuza ya mambo kuwane kubanilishi ya kili yako kujue ya kwamba wewe umetokana na mungu na umetokana na bilina your father is used like a soul yeye ana soul is a devil amen na ye mama yako ni kutuli sana ile bei ikiwa matumbo bwana asifiwe amen lakini aliye na uwezo wa maisha yake ni mungu amen bwana asifiwe amen maana alikuchagua na akakuchagua kutegua ni kumaanisha you are selected among men you are chosen unachaguliwa haleluya kwa kazi fulani bwana afiwa kwa mataifa au yaviwa Kenya ni mataifa So you you can go and country and prosper. Let's give the Lord a little bit. So don't limit yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give the Lord a little bit. Ina fria kwa mama karo. Wakati mwangia na zungumza. Nimeona wacha hivi unaambia mwingi. Glory yako ya mikuku. Hallelujah. Na ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu mzee endelea. Hata liba endelea. Yeye ndiye ada Meleka hiyo mati, ni kukumi Kwa hivyo kukumi na lewa mati na kushana hiyo Ni unasafula hiyo kitu hiyo Kwa hana sifiwe Kwa uweso Mwano utakatika Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo kwa hivyo So, there is power in a changed mind Akili ikibandilisho Ikifano upia Mwana mwifu Na uweso wa kufano Amen na hiyo fati watu wengi wamekosa kupanuka na kuendelea kwa sababu they have been fair negative things in their life. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Hizo ni kile kimekufunga si shetani. Renew your mind. Wachana na shetani na kazi yake. Mwisho wake tunaujua. Haleluya. Siku yake anaingojea. Alimaliza kazi yake. Na Biblia inasemanga ya kwamba yeye hawezi ya kabandilika yaani alifu aliukumiwa shetani ya niukumiwa na hakuna api anaeza kapeleka so kumanisha kwa sababu asha ukumiwa anaeza akapenda jochote hallelujah and that's why he is feed in us anatushibisha negative things he is making us to lose kwa mambo ambayo kana paso kusaidi kwezi kwa 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 lakini ukipandilisho wa mawazi ujua maani umetoka na kini ulipangiwa you will fly and kofa kwezi kwa 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 the power to fly to your next levels is there if you have all your mind to be changed by the word of God Amen One benefit of a changed man. One benefit. Ama wakiswaini maana moja ya akili iliyo wakilisha. Faida baas. Faida ya akili iliyo wakilisha. Wana sikiwa. Mwade ikuwa kukwa jeremaya kukwa kisoma ya kwamba diwa spiritual hearts or you are understanding wakati akili yako imepandilishwa your spiritual heart is open 
macho yao ya roho inafunguliwa wakati akili zinafunguka pia macho ya roho inafunguka Genesis 13:14 Mungu anaambia eh, eh, Abraham baada ya mtu kutokana na yeye anamwambia sasa inua macho yako yale macho anaambiwa hainue sio macho ya nyama kwa sababu kulingana na mpango wa Mungu Ibrahimu alikuwa amebeba mataifa he was a father of nations kwa na kuinua macho kwa Ibrahim ilikuwa aidoe aone ile land ama inchi inaweza ikatoshengeza mataifa bwana sio uenda aninua macho akaona that is not the, the eyes of your understanding that is the eyes of your mind bwana sio because so your mind is not you macho ya nyama iko limit bwana sio kwa sababu ikitazama ikitazama hapa hapa mbele siwezi kuwa na uwezo wa kutazama nyuma bwana Yesu sio but but the highs of your mind they are in a position inaenda mpaka Canada inaenda US inaanza kutafakari yale mambo yanaendelea US inaanza ina the, the highs of your mind bwana sio akili yako ikifunguka unakuwa na uwezo wa kuona na sio kuona tu ni kuona kile kilicho katika mpango wako Ibrahimu alinua macho akaona iti iliyotoshelezea mataifa aliyowekwa ndani yake Bwana asifiwe amen Haikuwa ni iti inatoshana na Kenya Kenya ni taifa moja naona nataka uone ile iti alifungua alikuwa na uwezo wa kufungua inchi kubwa kuliko Afrika That is the kind of the height of the mind that is open when you go under transformation or you are changed your mind is changed Paulo anasema katika Waefeso bado hapo tunakuja hapo Jeremiah nimesema 1 and verse 11 and 12 but ukiangalia Waefeso moja eh mstari wa 13 Paulo anasema baada ya kusikia habari ya imani yenu sijaloma sijalala nikiwaomba nikiomba baba the father of our lord jesus christ that he may give you what as you will the spirit of wisdom and the revelation that he did nasema that the highs of your understanding the high of your understanding kuna hiyo kitu ya ufahamu wako uko na uwezo ikifunguka when you go and that day unafunguliwa your mind you are able to see as God wants you to see unaona kile Mungu anataka uone bwana asifiwe kwa sababu sio kila kitu tumeumbiwa kuona wapendwa haleluya sio kila kitu tumeumbiwa kukitafakari kuna mambo tumebeba tunayafikiria na tupasi hilo haleluya we need a change So Paul anasema mimi sijagoma kuwaombea kwa baba wa wa, wa mwanawe Yesu Kristo ili awape roho ya hekima na ufuo ili akili zenu zifungulie na Yesu akiongea katika Roma anasema open me open he via hana sali wafungue akili za waelewe na neno So tunahitaji kufunguliwa ili tuone maana katika Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 11 Mungu anakuja kwa Jeremiah anamuuliza wewe unaona nini what see thou na Jeremiah anasema I see a humble tree Mungu anakuja anamwambia umeona fiema ana haya komite haleluya praise the Lord and the Niko komite to fulfill what you see So God is not a do. Mungu afuati ewa ubeho. Abatishi. Anafuata kile anaona kwa neno. Praise the Lord. Anamuuliza umeona nini? So inahitaji mtu aliyefunguliwa mawazo ili aone vile Mungu anataka. Aone. 
Mungu anamuuliza wewe unaona nini? Mimi pia nimemwambia nimeona wapi? Mungu amemwambia sawa na angana na yeye. Lakini aliona kile kilikuwa katika mpango wa akili zangu. Faida moja ya kufunguliwa mawazo ukifanya mawazo yako upya huwa unafunguliwa jicho la ndani. You understand the word of God, you understand the relations of the word of God. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. You see possibilities in the midst of impossibilities. You see an opportunity where calamities have existed. You thrive in the area where people are dying. Watu wanasema hapo wapajenga mtu wa kijenga anakufa. Wewe unagundua hiyo shamba, unaisingira the chain ring, alafu ukizunguka unacheka kwa makubwa hapo na unasiku kupangukia hapa. Na watu walikuwa wakisema mtu wa kijenga hapa anakufa. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. But because of a, a transform the mind, what has to do? You get you get that power and the clear in yourself. The Lord will pour for against my life that shall prevail. Because if God be for us, who can be against us? And in all these things which are happening on the face of the earth, we are more than a conqueror. Praise be to the Lord and the Lord. We need to transform the mind to reach at that point. Amen. So, Mungu anakuja na kuuliza unaona nini? So, Mungu anataka uone vizuri hii anataka. Nini? Sio hii unataka. Because you are not of your heart, you are from him, from the spirit of God. May God have mercy on us. Amen. Mungu atuhurumie. Amen. Na Biblia inamuita, "A God who is rich in mercy." Mimi ninataka ninatamani huu mwaka na kuendelea sasa ni kule ninaona yale Mungu anataka kwa sababu ukiona vile Mungu anataka uone there's no effort you need Hakuna eti ngane tulipe kanisa hapana hiyo inaisha hiyo kutaukiwa tumekaukiwa mifuko he unakopa kila kila app ah, ya simu eh hata mpaka simu yako iwezi kaingia hapa ingi kwa sababu nimejaa ah, hapa ungeangalia zile nyingi zipo hapa mitaka siku nyingi na hiyo nyingi wot wot kwa na hii ya safari kwa sababu iko na hii eh mshwari imekudai eh fulisa eh Umeibia wapi kwa sababu hiyo fulisa yako? Maana mtu amenituma pesa kwa wrong number, sasa hivi haiwezi karudi kwa sababu umefuliza ile. Na uitumi, so unaendelea kuuliza watu. Eh? Eh? Tafakari. Hai. But if we go and that stage We get that power to see the right thing. It is until you see what is right in the sight of God. God will be committed. The commitments of God is for you to see the right thing. God is committed. And so I, I am committed. Because you have seen the right thing now. I am committed to fulfill. I will accept to fulfill my word. Hallelujah. If you will not renew your mind, your decisions will never bring a, a, a positive help back to God. And you will not commit God in your life. Whatever you, you want to fulfill, God is not a there because you have not seen what is right in his sight. That is it. So for you to commit him to come, you must do what is right. Amen. Nasikia kukatia mahali kwa sababu ya wakati. Amen. Philomen. Philomen 1 and verse. Verse 13 and 14. 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 Ni 
Renew your mindset. Renew your mind that you may see the benefit is to see what God wants to see. Umekuwa ukiangalia mambo ambayo unatazama mambo kwa macho ya nao. Bila mwanamume kuna namna kuweza kufanya kazi na sasa hivi. Lakini sitafanya chochote bila kibali chako. Sitafanya chochote bila kibali. Sipendi kukulazimisha ukusaidie. Kwani wako wako unapaswa kutokana na hiari yako wewe mwenyewe na si kwa lazima sio kwa lazima. Labda Onesimo aliondoka kwako kwa kitambo tu kusudi aweze kuwa ye kusudi aweze tena kuwa uweze tena kuwa naye daima. Amen. Amen. Hilo mo One for two Kuna watu wa wande yona Kuna kuwaka Na uko mbele kabisa Chito Timothy Chito Filamo Then Ibrus Ibrus Iko juma ya Ibrania Kukisuki na sima Who I would have retained with me That he might say He might have Minister Unto me In the bonds of the gospel But I would, I would, I would do nothing without your mind. Seek a man at the children, but seek for the position here. What is it? Amen. At a moment of evil, 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 at a waste, who find a job or road to walk on, come at the end of a year or six months. And I tell you to abandon it at the end of the day. Ajue kwa mungu kukwana uweza. Ajue kwa mungu kukwana uwenyaji. Ajue kwa mungu. You go under that transformation. You go through under that change. Hallelujah. Uwekie katika vikanja vya mikono ya wana. Alie na uweza. Hallelujah. Kunikie hapo. Ambapo bimina sema there is nothing impossible. Akuna chochote ambacho atuwezekana huyo ndiye tunapaswa kuingiana na yeye na tuna disao usao yaliyopita usao waliokuwaza usao yale yaliyotufanikia bwana asifiwe amen na tuingiane na yeye tumwambie bwana tumekuja haleluya praise be the name of the living god amen bwana atukuze bwana ayuliwe haleluya we need a renewed mind we need a renewed mindset that we may see Hindi tuwane kabisa Hile mungu wana kata kwa Hallelujah Amen All the struggles that we are facing on the face of the earth It is because our mind has not gone And at that change Hallelujah If we allow the spirit of God Because he is the spirit of change Kaulu yu anao Anaomba hapo katika wa yafeso moja kumi na saba Anasema ya kwamba Ya kwamba hili mungu wa wape Ro Ni ro wa hekima Na ro wa ufunuo hii ya kili zenu zifunguliwe Kwa ni kumanisha Kufunguka kwa mawazo ya kuna yako Tunaitaji uwesa Waro utakajiku wa wana Hallelujah Praise be to the name of the living God Ana kusaidia kuona vizuri kama vile mungu anataka tukawana Ana kusaidia kusimama vizuri kwa imani na nenawane Hallelujah Na ya mungu anasema ukienda vizuri Akokomite mungu wa mejitolea Kukutimisa kukufila That which you have seen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bwana atukuzo. Bwana ayuliwe. Yufungue Psalms. Psalms 68. Wait for more information. Psalms 68. Amen. And the verse. 24 Ewe mungu Ewe mungu Misafara yako ya ushidi ya wanikani Misafara yako ya ushidi Misafara ya mungu wangu Mifanya wangu Hati patakati kuni Pake Misafara Najio misafara ni kama hii misafara ya siyasa Hii Oli kindeksi nasema Like coins, ama kutembea kwa kuna wanatana 
Uchambea na mungu wangu Unaonekana katika mungu wangu Bwana sidiyo Na diyaba passion of, of passion Inasana ya kwamba They move in So we saw a moving call Na ni unawana wana wa israeli Walipo shikana Katika Genesis chapter 11 verse 3 and 4 Walipo shikana Mungu wa litendea Haka shuka Na hivyo 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 anasema katika zaburi Shirina mbili ya kwamba uwa anashuka Hallelujah Kwa siba za Hallelujah Praise the Lord and the living God This is the kind of call Mungu wa shuka So haki shuka uwa anatetea watu wapi Na niyo kuliposa Biblia nasema Let God arise and his enemies be silent Mwaya nasibiri Amen Kata kukatia hapa Ephesians chapter 5 and verse Oh, that That is what Ephesians Wae Feso Tano Na isa suma Mr. Richardi hapo ya kumalizia Mbakanda huu Sakande bia nabayanda Wakini kila kitu Kila kitu Ikutukuliwa na mwanda Ikutukweli wake udirisho Amen Na kila kilicho udirisho wakua mwanda Diyo maana mandiba sema Amuka wewe ulie lani Mfufuka kutoka wafu Mfufuka kutoka kwa wafu Na ye kristo kaka kwa ngasi Kristo kwa ngasi Amen Kwele paka 17-19 Basi mwe wangalifu jinsi munabishi Tukwe wangalifu Musiishi kama wakumbafu Unasikia Mbali kama wenye ekima Wenye ekima Tumieni wizuri muda mulio nao Maaka siku hizi Yusi wa time Yusi wa time when Imagine bimine na kambia Kina kambia Yusi wa time when Kidogo Kidogo basa Kidogo basa Unajua Kuna wangu wanaishi Ni kama wakogu mene Tumieni wizuri muda mulio nao Ule wakati mungu wame tukiangia Tutunye iso Maaka siku hizi mbae Siku hizi mbae Kwa hiyo msiwa wakumbafu Msiwa wakumbafu Jaiguni kujua matakwa ya kwa Kujua matakwa ya kwa Ajeni kulewa divai Ayaye Haka hiyo itawakamizu Amen Bali mjajwa ya roho Itayatifu Amen Amen The way of the spirit Shia ya kumangilisho Ya kumgeuso Ni shia ya roho Amen 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 Amen